Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFaces.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. You dig? So we in here, man. We're going to talk about goals, man. You got to have goals. When you're a developer, when you're a programmer, when you are a software engineer, you got to have goals for yourself and see what you did last year. You know, right now we're in December and we have to understand, you know, okay, cool. What I did last year, that was great. That was awesome. Now, 2018, I want to do way better stuff, right? So you gotta put yourself some goals, okay? For example, let's say you're a web developer, right? You already know HTML, CSS. I can throw you any design that I, I can give you and you could pretty much build it, right? What's the next step for you? You need to actually say, hey, okay, I can build any design, but how can I make it interactive, right? So make sure your JavaScript skills are really up to par. And also you wanna make sure that if you already know the basics of JavaScript, you're looking into another framework, right? So you want to get yourself into the the flow of being a front-end engineer, right? So now you got to know stuff like Angular, stuff like React. It's up to you which one you want to choose and which one you want to stick with. Everybody works differently, and you got to understand one is more for startups, one is more for uh, people who are like to have control of things, and another one's more for enterprise, you know, corporate companies. So you got to choose between one of the two. Now, what I would say, personally, I would choose React because React is gonna make you a way better JavaScript developer and you don't have to really worry about learning uh, ng this, uh, you know, ng bind this, or your know, freaking v bind this, v bind that, like you don't have to worry about that. All you need to know is just JavaScript. So instead of you having to learn a framework, it's more of like, okay, this is JavaScript and this is just a framework that makes my life a little bit easier to work with the DOM and have everything more reactive, right? But that's why I like React. That's on me, you know? Not everybody thinks like me. Some people be like, I don't want to write HTML in my JavaScript. I want to have my views completely separated from everything that I'm doing in JavaScript. I want this to be two different things, JavaScript and HTML. If that flows your boat, go ahead. You know what I mean? It's up to you. Now, the next thing that I will say is start writing down applications, right? Just because you know how to build things and you know how to actually work with JavaScript doesn't mean that you have to just stay there and be like, okay, cool. This is all I know how to, how to do in this. You know, when somebody gives me a, a task or gives me a project, I'll build it. Nah. Put yourself some goals. Be like, hey, this year I want to build a social network. This year I want to build a, a Instagram. This year I want to build a, a mobile application. This year I want to do, I don't know, a software. You know, think of things that people need, right? Make a list of the things that you need. Like, you know, sometimes you go, let's say, for example, to Macy's and you're like, man, I hate waiting online. How about they create an app? where you could literally come in, sign in through your phone, and say, okay, I'm gonna sign in, and then send me a text when I'm ready to go to the cashier. That's it. That's application right there. You know, little things like that, people are gonna be grateful. People are gonna come in and be like, oh, cool, we could actually use this. You never know, you might sell that as a software, as a service, or you might sell it as an application. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, sky's the limit. You know, only you as a developer can create things that haven't been done yet but you have to think about it in a way of like hey what do people really need you know don't just build things just to build them be like hey i'm gonna do a to-do app in every single framework that's out there that's not gonna make you a better developer right so you have to put in goals for yourself you know last year you did the front end cool this year focus on the back end learn my sequel my sequel is the most used uh database out there period you could ask anybody, at some point you're going to have to use MySQL. No, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter what language, it doesn't matter if it's in Python, PHP, JavaScript, it doesn't matter if it's uh, C Sharp. Uh, at some point you're gonna have to use SQL. You get what I'm saying? So put that as a goal, right? Of course you wanna play around with MongoDB, because you never know, there might be a company that hires you and say, hey, we use MongoDB. It's not the norm, but Nowadays, a lot of people are jumping on it. So if you go and work for a startup, most likely they're going to be working with MongoDB. So you want to know the basics. To be honest with you, I think the moment you know JavaScript, 
you're already comfortable with MongoDB because MongoDB is just like JSON data and just, uh, you know, to me, I look at it functions and methods from JavaScript. That's it. That's how I look at it. That's how easy it is to me. But for some of you guys, you might want to, you know, go look around. You know, there's a couple of courses that I have below that you guys can definitely check out. You know, there's a lot of good ones, Cold Steel, Stephen Grider. So check those out. You know what I mean? So do that time and set up your goals, man. I'll see you guys later. All right? It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. You already know. Check the links below. Check the description. Check out my website. I have a whole bunch of courses that you're going to love and you're really going to enjoy it for this year. So make sure you set up your goals, all right? And let me help you out with that, okay?